everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime Remastered. If you guys missed last episode, I was Spider-Man. This episode, guess what? Not much has changed. Still Spider-Man. What? Pretty sure that asshole just said something to me. Security lockdown in effect, force field access denied. Yeah, I figured. I probably just have to do this, though. Hello? That's that. Hey, what up? Oh, these don't go very far, huh? Seemingly? Hey, get fucked! Get fucked with missiles up the ass, you bastard! Thank you. <laughs> He's so dramatic, this guy, huh? Oh, that's a purple guy. Hold on. Hello, I've learned my colors. I know that you're purple, you bastard. Where are you? Huh? Huh? Oh, dude, the, the, the fact that these actually track are so sick. Excuse, excuse me. Hello? You didn't tell me you had a friend. <laughs> Who the hell's this? Jeremiah? I don't know any Jeremiahs, huh? Except you! And I'm about to barely know you on account of the fact that you're dead. I guess that doesn't mean that I would know you any less. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What is this? Hello? Numerous fractures present in this cordite shaft. Uh, bomb. Super bomb? Yes! <laughs> okay, thank you. Dude, I feel like Metroid Prime has like a, uh, like a, a dictionary that comes along with the fucking game, you know what I mean? And if you don't study that dictionary, you're not gonna actually get a lot of power-ups. Data suggests that Omega Pirate lifespans are critically low. High levels of phase-on exposure are causing rapid cell degeneration in all test subjects. No subject lived longer than two decacycles in our simulations. Their lifespans must be increased to be cost-effective. All these people dying and costing us money. Omega Pirate Absorption System tests results are in. Field tests indicate that the system is very effective against beam weaponry. We are alarmed at the field's inability to handle missile attacks, however. Science team is working around the clock to correct this critical design flaw. The Omega Pirate cannot afford such a weakness in battle. Omega Pirate. Okay. As we continue to observe the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They are incredibly resistant to damage, and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays at our ground forces. Of our ground forces. Though they are not as quick as typical pirates, it makes little difference. With a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army of normal and flying pirates, we will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide in any engagement. Engagement? Oh my god, I forgot about my wife! Uh, is this a safe room by chance? Just wanna make sure that this is. Oh, dude! Yes! <laughs> Let me step into that pupper, would ya? Oh, thank you. Dude, whenever I get to a save room, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, in anime, when those boys are, like, training, doing their training arc, and they're chilling underneath a waterfall, I feel like that. I don't know why. I don't know what that has to do with any of this, but that's what I feel like, okay? That's great. Can you die? I don't need you. In fact, I'm gonna make an example of you. I'm gonna walk away. You <laughs> fuck, goodbye. Um, by chance, is there anything else up here that wants me dead? Health alert. Phase on radiation warning still in effect. Do not enter a phase on processing area without level 8 radiation gear. Prolonged exposure is 100% fatal. Oh, good. Phase on processing efficiency at maximum. Production at 187% and rising. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting that radiation suit sooner than later, then, right? Jello? Hello? This is just a light, right? Like, it's not about to, like, shoot all over my face? I thought that came from behind me. Oh, uh, excuse me, who the hell do you think you are? You run around leaving scars, collecting your jar of hearts. Who do you think you are, huh? You're fine. Yeah, die, you bastard. Die! That's what you deserve. Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, can I have... Uh, there's a chance that I was supposed to scan that and then it would be like, yo, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this want the plasma. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, wrong room. I'm sorry. I thought this was the subway. I just wanted a BMT on white, toasted with bacon and Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, cucumber, honey mustard, sub sauce, and chipotle. But uh, I guess I can't get that here. Goodbye. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling spicy today. Yeah, I'll also get mayo. Um, hello? I'm just gonna shoot that ceiling hard, is that okay? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna come a little closer to you. Hey, what up? Oh, I can't skate you! <laughs> Hi? Oh my god! I've got the eyes of fire, baby! Yes! The eyes of determination! These guys weak to missiles? Is this the thing that said that was weak to missiles? Uh, BRB. New creature has been added. Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate force, as Omega Pirate can be, uh, become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked, as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can re uh, regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with maximum caution and maximum firepower. Uh, bro? Hey, chill! Huh? Oh, I'm standing in the fucking radiation. What's happening? Oh, that didn't... Okay, I should probably not... I want to use, like, the missile. I want to use that missile. Hey, what up? <laughs> Ow! You bastard! Fuck! Hey, can you put that down for a second? Thanks. I don't think I did fucking anything. Okay. Oh, that did something! He heard it, yes! Should I be using super missile or... Oh, what? Oh, I could do this like at any time? Oh, <laughs> he just strike me right in the face! <laughs> Bro wanted a high five and I accepted it gladly, but I accidentally used my face. Okay, that did go away. Love that. I'm pretty sure I could probably get away with using normal missiles, too. Okay, I think I just slapped his ass a little bit. I don't really... I don't really think I'm doing so good at this fight, guys. I don't think I'm doing so good. Also, I keep getting too close to, like, something? Brother, chill. What is hurting me? Oh, I keep walking into that. And also that. Sit. Yeah, chill. Chill. What's the deal? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, huh? What? Where are you? What? Huh? Uh oh. Oh, wait, they are yellow. Oh, God, I'm panicking! <laughs> Yo, chill! Chill! Fuck outta here! Fuck outta here! What'd ya? Fuck me! I'm glad that these guys are just melee. Otherwise, I'd be fuckaroni and cheesed right about now. I feel like one of the things that fucks me the most in this game is the knockback that I get from, um... Yeah, what up? Yeah, I get fucked. Can I, uh, interest you in some of this? Maybe I should just try using normal missiles as well. How many missiles does it take? Oh, that doesn't actually give it the suck, does it? Interesting. Maybe the super missile is the way to go, actually. One. Two. Buckle. My, 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 my! Okay, that's four. Shoo! Okay, the super missile is just more effective, honestly. No, but notice I've done no damage so far. Am I understanding that correctly? Is that a bunch of no damage? And then it keeps going back to regenerate health as if it lost any at all. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. You're not very smart, huh? You literally have not lost any. 
Is it? Huh? I feel like uh, I should be doing something about the fucking the wall shit. Okay, this needs to fuck off right about now. Oh my god. All right, chill, 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 chill. Hey, what up? That's I need that super missile. The super missile seems to get fucked in his his hand hole. You know? Oh my god. <laughs> he just flashed it right at the last second. Love that for me. Oh my god. I gotta say too, I feel like a lot of the enemies in this game, their hitboxes are far bigger than you think they are. You're walking past like the smallest guy and you get nicked by him in a hallway. Like. Also, huh? Okay. Hey, what up? What up? I mean, this guy's hitbox should be big. He's kind of a fucking Hulk Hogan, you know what I'm saying? I'm running out of missiles. But I feel like I need to... I absolutely need five per piece of him. Oh, good. He's losing health. Not that that fucking matters. Is that doing anything? I just feel like that's doing very fucking little. And then these guys come in. Okay, I thought we were gonna like alternate through all the colors and then something else would come to be. Like I thought I was actually making progress in this fight, despite the fact that his health bar wasn't like nudging at all, you know what I mean? At this point, I'm gonna stand in this and uh, just willingly accept death. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do. Okay, but I know that I'm not gonna do it that time as I need fucking more health than I had. Oh. Actually, huh? That, that did something. He mad. He mad. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. All of like the, the D-pad switching and stuff really trips me up. Like I often, I, I'm pretty sure that probably comes through on video too. Like I, I start switching around like my visor when I mean to be switching around my missile, you know, and vice versa. Hey, what up? So is this, is this the fight? Is this how to do the fight? Am I doing it right? Oh fuck. I feel like I'm actually making headway in this fight now, which is nice. Real nice. Okay. I didn't mean to use a missile. That's pretty sick that I just did that. Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Love that for me. Okay, so this guy goes down. I'm pretty sure at this point, I'm not supposed to really do anything to him, despite the fact that that is doing something. At least it certainly looks like it is. Okay, where are you at? Oh, it's purple again. Love this. So, can you give me missiles? At this point, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the fight for lack of missiles. Oh, hey, he did! Love that! Yes! New sir, I wanna mine some more missiles, honestly. Got some of the missiles. I kinda wanna try... Okay, that's not really the missile I wanted to see. There, no, not that one. That one. And can I do this? That did a fuck ton! Oh, I'm gonna run out of missiles, though. Like... At this point, I'm shy two missiles of even bringing him down again. The fuck do I do about that? Hey, bro. Like, I could still... I could still chunk some of your parts. Yo, I'm gonna chunk some of your parts, my guy. I kind of wish destroying his parts gave me missiles. Because at this point, I'm going to... I'm gonna run out of missiles. <laughs> I don't really know how to go... Oh, whoops. Sick. Okay, I'm gonna need a, another plan. Like, at this point, I don't even have enough missiles to, to break another body part. I don't... Don't know what to do about that. Guess I'll die? <laughs> okay, stop! Jesus Christ, sir! Fucking hell! Uh, missiles? It's like, any missiles? I'm still doing damage to him, it's just the missiles, you know... Them missiles really... Oh my god, his hitbox, his hitbox. Don't get four feet in front of him. <laughs> That's how you take critical damage. Okay, stop, sir. Please. Please, sir. Please. Put yourself away. Can I? Okay, you have missiles. That's really good to see. <laughs> I want missiles. I'm going to lose because I don't have missiles. That's destroyed. This is so much easier with missiles. And the... I'm, I, I've got to be honest, I'm not keeping tabs on the fucking rate the singular radiation pool that exists in this fight. Or are there two? Oh, look at that. There's two. Or is there another one? Yeah, there's like three. 
That is the thing that's fucking me the most! Is the fact that I keep strafing away from him into some missile! Or some fucking radiation! Oh. Missiles are haunting me. Should I just die again? Should I die? This seems absurdly hard without fucking missiles. Excuse me, sir. Kind of over it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm kind of over it, sir. Just fucking kill me, I guess. You know, you know, I just, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nose dab myself. I'm gonna just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's restart this fight. I'm so done with this fight, dude. Holy crap! Is it over? I think it's over. <laughs> Oh my god! That was by far the most frustrating thing I've done in this game. I'm sorry I barely commentated that boss battle. Dude, I swear to fuck if it if it if it oozes into a phase two. Is that me? Hey yo! Dude, black is the new orange, baby. Phase on suit. <laughs> oh my god! Guys, that was so frustrating. That was so frustrating! The, the the arena is like way too small to deal with that. That guy, you are either standing in a pit of acid and dying, or you're being punched in the face by that guy because he's far too big. I don't understand. I was, I was actively developing claustrophobia while I was doing that because I felt like it was far too small, dude. Phazon suit! Yes! Your suit has been infused with pure Phazon! This corruption prevents damage from Phazon radiation. Okay. I did it. Yes. Can I have all that? Oh, I could just walk on this now. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! Dude, absolutely fuck that! Like, I literally, I literally stopped recording this episode and then edited an episode that I previously recorded because I'm like, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> I was so, so very fed up. Platform active. Where does this take me? It doesn't say. Up. The answer is up. It takes me to fucking Carl Fredrickson's house where we can all look at his dying wife and all cry together because that movie is very upsetting and sad. What is this? I don't really know what that is. It's just like... Like a phase on heart. He got that oh, Dude, I... I it, despite the fact that I actually dropped this and... Huh? Oh, I just... I have this now. I can have this. <laughs> I can have this. <laughs> That's mine. Yay. So I can just walk through this? Yay! Through the radiation and the flames, we carry on! Oh, good. You're gonna... You're gonna... You're gonna fuck me now? Huh? I did not kill that guy. Where did he go? Hello. Did that kill that in one hit? Dude, what? Is the plasma beam like more insane than I thought it was? Does this just deal raw dog damage? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying with that raw dog damage? Fuck off, Blaziken. Fuck off. What? Huh? I'm sorry? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Fission Metroid. Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. The Fission Metroid is a mutant capable of splitting into. The split endows the new creature with invulnerability to most weaponry. This effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of phase on mutation. Speaking of, uh, Phazon, I think my face is about to be fucked upon. <laughs> ah! Fuck off! So, you want me to, like, color code my beam again? Or color coding again? Okay, part of me. Oh, yeah, I could literally just stand in this. <laughs> That's so funny. Did the other guy die? Because fuck him. I don't like that guy. He could suck my uh, suck my entire penis, my penicillin. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Uh, hello, sir. Give me a moment. Okay, prepare to die. Dude, 
That was far more violent than I intended, but uh, honestly, after what I just witnessed, I'm, I'm ready to seek violence, you know? Violence is never the answer until it is, you know? And that, that time, it's right now. That's that, the, right now is when I seek the violence. Okay, so, dude, I look so sick! How do I do this again? Oh my god, I'm forgetting how to play at the very last fucking second. Love that for me. Um, so I can now traverse radiation, which is all well and good, except for the fact that I am actively forgetting where I would want to actually use this. Like, I can, I can withstand radiation. Lovely. What does this actually do for me, though? You know what sucks is that time that we got the map? Yeah, <laughs> I died since then. So the map is still incomplete right now. Ah, Fungal Hall. Metroid Quarantine B. Yes. Save Station C. Missiles. The missile hung where you can't see. Kiss me in the ass. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear... Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> yes! Chozo Artifact Acquired! Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I, uh... The last of the twelve, it says, but that's not the the last for us. This was just the closest to where we were. I looked it up, because uh, I was scratching my head, looking at the map. I'm like, the fuck do I do now? <laughs> I guess it should be obvious. I'm pretty sure we're in the end game here, as uh, this is possibly like one of the last things that we have to do, is, is collect these artifacts. And then past this... I don't know. I guess we go to the, the fucking artifact thing, is what I would imagine. Um, so, the rest of this episode is just gonna be kinda cutty. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm just gonna go around collecting the rest of the artifacts, which, uh, which means what for us exactly? How do we, how do we see our artifacts? How do we go about, about seeing that? I actually, logbook? Yeah, this. So, artifacts. So the blue ones are the ones that we don't have. So we literally have three of 12. Am I understanding that? Truth, Life Giver, Spirit, and Newborn. Oh, we have four of them. Huh? Oh, the blue ones aren't necessarily ones that we don't have, I guess. Unless... Oh, we don't have this one. It just gives us a hint toward where to get it. Okay. Understood. Um... Gonna be honest though, I'm gonna use a mixture of comments and a guide to figure out where the rest of these are as I don't want to be bumping my head for episodes to try to figure this out and I feel like that's fair enough, right? <laughs> um, so, you know, by the end of this episode we should have these all wrapped up considering it's gonna be kinda cutty. Uh, here we go. Are you new? I think this guy might be new. At least a, a reskin of the guy from before. But they're all kind of the same, huh? Hey, bro. Chill the fuck out. Chill out. Chill out. Yo, chillax, my guy. What the fuck's your problem? Oh, good. You just ate that, huh? <laughs> I'm hungry. I also consume things through hand. Are you... You're still alive? Yo, this guy's got spunk, I'll give him that. Hello? What did this do for me? Oh, it did that for me. Yes, yes. What was this one? H Hello, Artifact of the Warrior, the sixth of 12. <laughs> okay. It's just kind of interesting that they're all numbered, you know? They all have their own designation. Interesting. Oh, this one had bombed the other day. Lovely. <laughs> is this a spinner? It is a spinner. What did that do? Oh, dude, this is actually super complex. I'm going to be honest. I would have never figured that out in a million years. I'm kind of glad that I'm following a guide at this point. I hope that you guys don't mind, because literally this Let's Play would be like 50 more episodes long where I'm not understanding what the fuck to do otherwise. 
Those of our artifact acquired. The seventh of twelve! Yes! And that's you. Oh, it's a big boy. The biggest of them all. Yes! Oh my god, another thing. What are those called? Artifact. Yes. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Like, it, uh, this this artifact hunt is still has still a long way to go, and I'm aware of that. Holy crap, dude! Like, I feel like this last leg of this game would be a lot more enjoyable had I just happened to found more artifacts along the way. You know what I mean? Like, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six left to go. We're halfway done. Oh, man. Like, there are so many things that's, like, an obstacle where seemingly it doesn't have to be an obstacle. Like, backtracking, where, like, there were vines on that door that you just seen that left. I walked to the, the other side of that door before, and then there were vines there that were impenetrable by weapons, said the scan. So I had to go all the fucking way around, which was about, like, probably a five to ten minute detour. Just to get all the way, because I came from this way, and there were vines here, and then I was like, okay, well, fuck this. So I had to backtrack, or, no, I came from, whatever, I came from this end, and there were vines here, so I had to go all the way this way, and, oh, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I just feel like this would have been more enjoyable had I found more of these on my initial run through these areas, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, on with the show. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I got that much game, thanks. Secret tunnel. Wow, we kazowie. Bye, gentlemen. I'm done here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's the next artifact. 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 Oh, this one's just kind of holding it. Uh, why would I? Why didn't I get a cutscene for that one? <laughs> this is mine now. Thanks. How, who, how would you figure that out? <laughs> oh, I guess there's hints to do all of these if you go to the the artifact place. Oh, that's how people big brain this. That makes sense. All right, three more. The fuck? <laughs> Man, some of these are actually really complicated. What did this do for me? All of that to make a tiny little hole? Holy moly! <laughs> Is that... Yay! That's actually super complicated! Okay. So that's the third last one. Right? Oh my god, we have two more. Yes! Oh, <laughs> I guess, because I found it. <laughs> that was odd. Sure, yes, we got another one. That leaves one left. Oh my god, yay. Blah. <laughs> Blah. 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 That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Uh, hello? Sir, I just want you to hold me deep into the night. Please hold me. Ah. Dude, I tried to blow that up earlier. Oh my god. See, I had the foresight. I had the foresight. I had the forceps. Yes. That's the last one. Yay. God, it's over. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. I take back what I said in a previous episode, by the way. This is the longest episode ever to record. I've been recording for 
uh, uh, two, uh, two hours, ten minutes on this episode. How fun is that? <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. A lot of backtracking. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe for the remainder of the way, please do so. Also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time for another episode of Metroid Prime Remastered, where I don't know what the balls to expect. I only know that this is going to unlock the thing that will bring us to the planet's core only because that's what we read in logs and I'm a little, to be quite frank, fucking scared. <laughs> Considering... Oh, dude. Oh, dude! This thing fucks those guys! Oh, that's sick. Anyway, uh, was I saying something? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I also got some upgrades, as you guys can see. I got missile and an energy tank, maybe two. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Come back next time for, honestly, possibly the finale to Metroid Prime. I don't know how much is left, but if I had to guess, a very minimal amount, I would think, at this point.